honest with ourselves, we humans aren't very good at driving motor vehicles. Each year, more than one and a quarter million people die on the world's roads. And most of those accidents are caused by humans who are making errors in their driving. Only a small percentage are caused by technical failures. And we watch every day as we curse the stupidity of other drivers. But sometimes we get caught up in accidents and we find out for ourselves that often we can be at fault too. Over the last few years, Google and others have been testing autonomous cars. Cars that are robots, cars that can drive themselves. And in Google's case, there's been hundreds of thousands of miles covered safely. And there was only one accident in all those miles which could be blamed on the software called Chauffeur, which Google uses in its cars. Google, of course, isn't alone. Uber has self-driving cars, and all of the major automakers like Mercedes, Volvo, BMW and so on are rapidly developing their own autonomous vehicles. And it would seem that fairly soon we're going to have cars that can drive themselves. The first self-driving cars will appear in city centres, on campuses, on airports. In other words, in small controlled areas. The problem with letting them loose on the main roads, on the busy roads, is that they have to mix with ordinary human drivers. And human drivers will become very frustrated if they have to follow a self-driving vehicle which follows the letter of the law, the absolute highway code rules. In fact, driving behind an autonomous car will be as frustrating as being permanently stuck behind a learner driver, behind a student driver, behind somebody who is so careful and so cautious, we will get frustrated and we will cause accidents. In the medium term, we're going to see cars and trucks becoming interconnected. We're going to see convoys of trucks on the highways. We're going to see highway lanes reserved for autonomous cars and they will communicate with each other and with the infrastructure around them. But we will not be seeing self-driving vehicles on country roads. The reason is that we humans will actually cause more accidents if they're there. And then there's the ethical questions still to be answered. Should a self-driving car sacrifice a, an owner, a passenger in the car, in order to swerve to miss a child that's run into the road? What will the insurance terms be like for an autonomous vehicle? Who will be liable and responsible? If there were to be an accident, would it be the makers of the software, the makers of the vehicle, or the owner-passenger who was in the vehicle at the time? None of these things is yet clear, but we're working towards finding answers. The UK has become the first country to pass legislation which will allow insurance to be offered to self-driving cars. It remains to be seen what terms that sort of insurance will be offered on.